Hello, welcome back. This is Kench1913 along with... Special friend Rob. And we're Let's Playing Metal Gear Solid 3. The shit we is, baby. And now we are over here in this area, which here is... Here being near the bridge. Yeah, this is the bridge area. I think, I think one of my favorite spots in the entire game to fight mm -hmm. to, uh, just to have things going on because it's a very nice little locale. Mm -hmm. And quite a few things happening. Here. Yeah, and look at that. You see that? Snake's got an, Snake's got an idea. He's got an idea. Where and his idea is going to be my same idea. Good. Because this is pretty awesome. This is one of the more fun things to do yeah. to uh, clear out an area. All right, so let's go over here. Oh, damn it. Oh, God, don't, he don't, don't see me. Ruined it. All right, woof. All right, I think, I think this could still work. All right, let's just look a little bit. The guy's still over there. All right, now let's get the B thing. Because what you want to do here is shoot down this gun. shoot down this hive here, and then the guard's gonna be like, get down. <laughs> the guard's gonna be like, ooh, food. Or then the bees are gonna chase him. Yes. Now let him run. You see, I don't know. Run and run and run. Because then he gets the other guard guys to run with him, yes. leaving the whole area Ow. with no dudes for the for at least a few minutes. Which is where I will just you see a couple of the hornets that you, like crawl by. Mm -hmm. Now we got the the actual food and some ointment. Okay. The ointment won't be used till way later. No, but it's always nice to stop all those in the middle of that. Yeah. Like now, and now what you want to do is just run over that bridge. But if you run over it too far in one way or the other, you'll fall off. And just yeah, make sure to careful. get get back up. Now we want to come down here. Sort of yeah. And we're gonna grab ourselves a nice weapon. The yes. whatever the hell that is. It's like a small machine gun. Right? Yeah, it's a it's like a like an assault rifle. Yep. I'm Whoa. not sure if I use Again, it. Again, if you don't sidestep there, you may fall off the ledge. Yeah. Yeah. But it's good space that happens. And you see that Yeah, you see that blue gauge, that's your grip gauge. Yes. And like uh right. you can't hold on forever. Exactly. So the guards are gone. Hey, that was a good trick. Yeah. With the hornets. It makes the guards like it makes it, I didn't know you could make every single guard leave. Yeah, because what that one guard runs he's like, Oh god bugs! He's like eighty miles away and he's still afraid of the bugs. <laughs> the bugs. You know? To be fair. I would be too. A I little am bit. scared of hornets and wasps. Yeah, well so. one, one time there was a bug down here in the new room and my brother ran all the way upstairs. Locked the door in the bathroom upstairs. That's good to know. He locked the door. He's yeah, he is definitely, definitely afraid of bees. Lock picks at, um, the and he's not even allergic. He's just definitely afraid of bees. Yeah, I like to kill bees. <laughs> Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being now held. We have found this the place is factory. dump. And it is a dump. It is a bit of a dump. It's, it's all shit. busted out and shot it's up shit in hole. I can't see Sokolov from here. Mm-hmm. The security is pretty tight. Yeah, mm -hmm, they're keeping the guy we need to get. There are sentries posted around There's the There's a perimeter. lot of dudes here. I wonder I how many are inside. Mm -hmm. And they call back up. This can get a little fun. Yeah. Or not so fun. Depending on. This is true. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. Go from you should be holding him in a room yeah. in the northeast you know section. What? Northeast section. usually goes out of hand with me. Because... Be Sometimes careful. Even a little Your mission yeah. is to yeah. bring Sokolov back down, but. He must not be exposed to, to any kind of danger. Doing? Yeah, and then he, he wakes not that guy, so but he wakes that guy up the he passes phase. out, and then that guy wakes up right. what are you doing? Oh, mm -hmm. and, and one more thing, Snake. Like you mean there's thing. more? Mm -hmm. No, it's, no, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is, sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Yeah, it really Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. So now... the death cycle, you can heal to ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're going to go and infiltrate this area, which should be pretty interesting. Let's Take see care. what the boss has to say about it. I'm huh. assuming something about our general. Nothing. Hmm. I wonder where she could possibly be. I see you've got yourself Maybe a Baltic Hornet's nest. Maybe. You know what? I don't know if Baltic there's, Hornets there's, are a variety of hornets that inhabit that area. The, the difference guess. between them and other hornets is that they produce honey in their nests. And then this is hornets. Inside and they, the and nest are larva, they produce pupa, honey, and adults. Which I did not know. You can know. eat them all. I, I in particular, the honey you find inside the nest is delicious and full of nutrients. Yeah. It's easy to yeah. digest and helps pep you up when you're feeling tired. We will. In short, you know what? it's the perfect survival food. Yeah. 
Honey can, can also be used yeah. as a burn oil. When honey, honey is applied to a burn, it creates yeah. a protective coating over Maybe the skin. Not delicious, honey. Maybe when you knock down a hornet's nest, a Gross burn oil yeah. will appear along with it. So it. don't forget to pick it up. Say, mm, of course, the hornets aren't going to give up their nest without a fight. Yeah, so you're gonna have to if deal you with knock hornets. a nest down, a Just large like one guy did. come flying out. So be careful. I hope not. They're pieces of crap. Eat food to recover. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not good. Not your mom's bowl. I mean, no, no, no. Your own mother, like. Yeah, anyone's Like the the last taste you want to taste. So let's eat this. Let's eat a croc. Yeah. And then I'll bring up our stanima. Yep. Like top us out. Yeah, I like to keep my stanima as high as possible, like all the time, because I'm a big fan of eating. Sure. Yeah. All right. So should we make good crocodile parmesan? Mmm, that would be good. So let's put on splitter and shit. Either tree bark or squares. I'll put on tree bark for now. And I squares once in a while just to feel like I can hide inside the chest. Yeah, the squares one is good for when you're near red backgrounds, like inside that rusted building over there. Very good. Alright, let's see. What do I want to do? I think you want to shoot motherfuckers. I think I'm going to. I think something's going to happen here where. We're going to have some fun. Excellent. Anyways, okay. Now we're in with the Flecton, which is very, very good in the green. Uh, I think I'm just going to let that guy walk. I'll come back. Well, maybe I will. All right. I don't want to crawl by this guy because there's a guy over here. Cause the, yeah, the building's on the right here. And I want to go I want to go in from over on this area. All right, tree out of my way. I hate when those trees just right in the way. I know, I hate it. Like, like, just out of nowhere. And they're like, huh? rules everyone. Huh, where's the tree, huh? And I hate when this happens, too. Well, you there we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go, yeah. Alright, go away. See, there's a uh, little entrance here. Mm hmm. You can crawl under underneath, which I'm gonna try to do. Where are the dudes? I thought there was a dude over here. You could already shot him with his black thing. I'm not that good. Uh, isn't that dude? Yeah, dude. I don't know. We're gonna get some cross for it. Oh yeah, maybe he walked by or something. But anyways, now we're getting inside the building. I like to change my camo. Where the hell is he? I could swear there was a guy lurking around this area. Ah, uh, who cares? All right, now we're over here. Let's change our face paint and our camo. I'm gonna put on. Put that stuff on. Yeah, I'm gonna put on tree bark here. And crawl, crawl, crawl up these stairs because I think there's something good up there. I think there's a different kind of gun or ammo for a gun you already have up here. Yeah. Mhm. Mm and there's a dude right there. He won't see me. There's a man crawling upstairs. Odium, oh, hum, hum. Is that top stairs? I don't think so. What the hell? Oh god, there we go. No, he just or is someone that guy the street. Someone just saw me. Alright, game. I think it was that guy across. Game over. Alright, this is it. Let's go in our backpack. Let's take out the big boy gun. And let's start killing some fuckers. The guns that make people bleed bleed? Bleed mm -hmm. blood? They make people bleed their own blood, yes. And see, I don't think I explained yet, but each weapon and item has their own ammo. And, uh, yeah. or not their own ammo, but their own weight. And if you're carrying more weight, it's going to take down Snake's stamina. Yeah, so you want to make sure to keep the weight of stuff that he's carrying at a decent level where it's not every. Which is one of the weird things about the game, because yeah. technically. It means you keep your backpack and you're carrying it. Yeah. So you're really carrying the entire weight all the time. Yeah, true, true. Alright, where and are these? Backpack is easier to carry then. Boom! Ha ha ha! that asshole. Alright. Alright, don't throw stuff at me. No, that's the same person. Yeah, alright. I'm not trying I'm to get. Stuff to you. Yeah. Take that, huh? I love headshots. Get a picture. Where's the other guy? You know what? You know what you could do. Also, you could shoot those barrels. Yes. It's hard to get iron sights. Yeah, they're filled with fuel and they'll explode. If there's a dude right next to it, it will be set on fire. That's always nice. Yeah. There's not much more satisfying than setting an enemy on fire. 
You know what? Oh, there we did. We did it. There we did it. We got one guy. Oh, oh what the hell? You, sir. I think somebody shot the barrel. You were right next to him. You went flying. And I just CQC'd those guys. You, sir, have a very low health rate. Yeah, it's about half, almost half. Just look around. I know there's a life medicine somewhere around here. I'm not going to use life medicine in this whole LP. Why? Yeah. Probably because I, I don't need it. Oh, sorry. I didn't tell you were correct. Oh, well, oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't tell you not to. Well, I, I, I think I'm good enough where I won't have to need life medicine. I mean, it's there. If your elf, if your life goes down, you can yeah. use it. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> to be honest, if ah, you're gonna use nice. it, it's probably Strong. at this part early in the game where your health bar isn't very high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But True. by the time you get to uh, deeper in the game, mm -hmm. every time you escalate in the game, mm -hmm. your health bar does low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so in reality, to me, like to me, I think I'd ever died in this game. Like I said, maybe four times. Today. You're all here. Mm. I'd probably die the most right here at this level. Mm. Just because you're not quite good yet, and your health is very good. Mm -hmm. So it's a combination. You know, the guys really aren't all that difficult yeah. once you play a couple times. Yeah, yeah. And typical Metal Gear fashion, there's three phases. There's the alert phase where they're where they're looking and they're shooting at you, and then there's the evasion phase. Which, still kind of on whether, yeah, where they're still kind of on patrol, and basically you want to hide out during these phases. And then there's the last phase, I forget what it's called off the top of my head. And that's the one where you can kind of get away with moving around a bit more. And the, and the less dudes on the in the area, the faster the evasion and the alert thing will go down. Right. Let's see if there's anyone. I love, I love, one of my favorite things to do in the game is hide underneath right stuff. There? Well, and throw a grenade. And throw a grenade out there? <laughs> yeah. yeah I nice. freaking love it. So let's go up here. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. You gotta, be, you gotta be a manly man. Yeah, this is wonderful. This is a good a good spot. Like, remember. Pull out a rifle to get a job beat. Exactly. And remember over here. That there will be uh, what the hell is going on? Here? Remember that there. Remember that you can come on the roof because you will have to come back here later. What's wrong? Yes, later on I believe there's a couple of nice little. Uh, there's some guys on the roof us. and you want to destroy them. Hey, dude. Hey, hey. Where'd you go? He's running. Don't you run? Yeah. Sometimes I just love to kill them all. Where is he? We've lost sight of the enemy. He's right, definitely here little, somewhere. Let's do a little Flush circus act right here. What are you gonna do? Oh, let's look for a dude. Yeah, tight rope walk. Yeah, you can walk over this thing. Yes. There's usually a dude right <coughs> around there where you were looking. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah you see that that thing? Uh, you, you know what? You can kill birds. I forgot to mention that. But good. They're they're one of the harder things to kill. Yeah. I usually don't even try because I don't really care about birds. Or I can kill the snakes and rabbits and eat them. Once in a while, I can do, like snake ones. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Long falls like that can take a little. Yeah, you. you mm -hmm. can get injured. Yeah. So well, you... this door, there's usually a guy too. I, no, no, no. I think he's the guy who's shooting at me. Oh no, there you are. Just my look. Oh. You know what I was to do? I'm put you in the hallway. What does that do? Nothing. Oh. Oh, that's alright. That's what I like to do. That's what I thought you were Yeah, that's a nice thingy. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Yeah, my computer acts up. Gonna drag this guy over to the weapon. Let me get a grenade. Open the door! Well, no, it's just basically telling me I can't. I can't go in this room until the evasion thing is done. Oh, uh, yes. Because you have to wait till a certain point to go in there. And I love knocking on the door when they won't let me in. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in front of Sokolov's cell. I'm so afraid. Uh, I'm scared old man. Hold I'm on, so Snake. Afraid. What's the current condition? What's your current condition? What the yeah. hell is that? What phase is it now? Evasion. What is what? I don't know. Exactly. I, I already said you can't contact Sokolov during battle. 
Don't you listen yeah, to people when they're talking? Sometimes it's a bit. <laughs> well, anyway, the reason that door won't things. open is probably because yeah, Sokolov is blocking it himself. Yeah, I guess so. He's scared, and no wonder. And so In order to break Sokolov out of there, you'll need his Tommy. cooperation as well. So, so stop scaring. Ian, he's a frightened old man, and I have to Contact wait till Sokolov later after you've thing. disengaged the enemy. Too Once things have stabilized, try it again. Got it? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, sometimes I get killed here, it sucks. Alright, so I think I got it. Well, everyone I plan on doing whatever. And there we go. There's so we'll talk with Sokolov in the next episode. Sweet. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Maybe we'll pass Sokolov next episode.